need something to fill time. Uh, Aqua Hibiscus reminded me I still have my record collection kicking around here. Somewhere. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, that's show a, off them records. That's yeah. an extremely brief thing. I know I'm showing off a bunch of silly shit. Mm -hmm. Bring those thick uh, discs. Those thick discs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I don't have very many. As I mentioned, I have more cameras than record players. Uh, but I do have, uh, of course, a bunch of video game soundtracks and other soundtracks, such as Katamari Damacy. Na 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 Katamari Damacy. This is the the Ooh, Wando a challenge. double release, uh, complete with the wonderful king here in space. <laughs> oh, uh, good art. Can anybody yeah. in the room? Uh, can any of the three of you <laughs> guess what this is? The sound. Um. I just leaned around my camera like I could get the light to shift in the reflection. Mm. That's mm -hmm. not how that works. I mm, I feel like I'm gonna be like ah when I mm -hmm. see this. Yeah, I yeah. don't. I don't know. I'm not sure. You are correct, Nettie Seagoon. You do know those ingots, but it was, I believe, Sentient Racking, the first person to get it. This is the Looper soundtrack. Oh, oh uh, damn. The Ryan Johnson time travel movie. They themed it after the uh, the iconic jacket and uh, uh, gold ingots that uh, Bruce Willis was wearing in that movie. That's very cool. Oh yeah, and this is this is like burned and damaged canvas fabric. Like this isn't. Wow. Oh, this cool. Isn't, this isn't paper. This is Oh, my. Oh, oh, nice. That's so cool. That's really yeah. cool. No. Uh, I have an older copy of uh, Amanda Palmer's first solo release, Who Killed Amanda Palmer, mm -hmm. uh, which I purchased back when she did, uh, when she funded this album pre-Kickstarter kind of thing. Nice. Yeah. Uh, it is still, in my opinion, uh, her best work. Wow. And I wish she would chill out and be a freaking better person but you know yeah uh and kathleen you'll appreciate this next one because this is also an album uh that i believe means a lot to you <gasps> it's uh this one here <gasps> baroness the baroness oh. Blue album, which is the uh the double album here Ooh. that's a very good baroness album mm -hmm. So uh, this, is, this is far and away my favorite Baroness album, but I love everything that they've created. Um, let me just take a look and see what the last three are. Okay, yeah. I have the uh, aforementioned Transistor soundtrack. Yes! yes. Yeah, so um, that's another uh, huge, gorgeous double album. Oh, wow. So good. Mm -hmm. I love the art from that game. Yep. Super Giant is incredible. Mm-hmm. Uh, another one for uh, the three of you to quickly guess here. You got this one? That's uh, that's a metric album, is, I think, is that but Rez? I'm not sure which one. Is that the Rez soundtrack? Or Oh, it might be Rez, yeah. It's not, but Kathleen's closer than Erica. It is a game soundtrack. Is it Fez? <laughs> you are correct! <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, that was Chad who told me that. Yeah. This is the Fez original soundtrack. You just got a cool. you got a thing for like golden glyphs on your soundtracks. Apparently, yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't really notice this theme uh, until I did it. But this is the Fez soundtrack by Disasterpiece, nice. which is incredible. I also somewhere over there, I don't know if it's visible on the tour. I have one of the limited edition 500 physical copies of uh, Fez in this like beautiful red bound book. Uh, mm -hmm on two gold USB sticks. Oh, right. I think you've shown that to me. Yeah, like yeah. it's... Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Rocker. <laughs> uh, which is, again, just like a little yeah. fancy little thing. Oh, my goodness. That's oh, really yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. And then hidden inside are two USB sticks, one containing the soundtrack and one containing the game. Everything That's branded awesome. with those golden glyphs that I apparently love so much. <laughs> well, I know what I'm getting you for your birthday. <laughs> Just like a brick, gold brick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then my final album is uh, one of my favorite albums of all time, uh, to no surprise to anybody. Again, this is another one like the Amanda Palmer, where the artist put up a like, hey, you can you can back this if you want. I was like, I would like to back that at an extremely high level. Uh, <laughs> it is Endless Fantasy by Anna oh. Nice. Excellent. Beautiful. Oh, wait, hang on. 
Mm -hmm. No, I can't align it. There we go. Up. <laughs> Up a uh, which, bit. You might, which you might also see uh, in James's collection. Dang. Dang, that's a cool album. Mm -hmm. Now, this is uh, one of my absolute favorite things of all time. So that's my very small record collection uh, of records that I love, which uh, at this point, I no longer own a record player. Uh, <laughs> these just hang out, or uh, I have these little shelves where I can put them up on the wall as like art, mm -hmm. which is to a certain degree why I like that having them around so much, is to just display an album that I care about. So thanks for indulging me. Uh, and thank you for that five dollar donation for my shirt. Yes. <laughs> it's a good I'm, shirt. Thank you. Whew. Oh, that was that was very fun. We've got half an hour left. I have texted Graham to to bring me five records from my record collection. Mm, like just bring ooh. them in here, and and then I'll that'll that'll conclude our music show off. Mm -hmm. That's great. If I could slip in a recommendation for a band. Before the end of our, before the end of Desert Bus this year, there's a French psychedelic group called Odyssey and Oracle, and they put out an album called Crocorama, which is excellent. And if you read the translations of the lyrics, it's even better. I don't speak or understand French, but they're uh, it's a very good album of like classic psychedelic rock with uh, uh, interesting and um, uh, leftist lyrics, we'll say. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think it will appeal to people in this chat. So mm -hmm. that's uh, Odyssey and Oracle, like the classic, uh, the band is called Odyssey and Oracle, like the classic uh, psychedelic rock music uh, album from the 60s by the Zombies. Who, who put out mm -hmm. Odyssey and Oracle? Was it the Zombies? Oh, I hate actually having to say something on oh, camera. Okay, it, it was the Zombies, which I only know because I was typing it into Google so that I could have yeah. it later, and the Zombies came up. In one of the first. Where is this? Oh. This is very narrow. Perfect. Hey, there we go. 